Hello everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Victoria Shewumi. I am a life coach, a success expert, a motivational speaker, and the author of The Power of Resilience. So what am I talking about this time? I'm sharing with you how you can elevate your financial life, how you can move from being broke from being poor and actually having some money to actually able to make a wealthy living and able to become rich i'm telling you practically these are the things that can happen how do you elevate your financial life how do you move from being poor being broke to actually having excess money to actually being rich becoming rich so i'm gonna be sharing three things with you these are the things that are practical this will pretty much help you that it does not matter how, how little you making that you can still be rich and be wealthy it does not matter and how much you make sometimes people can make a lot of money and still be broke they can make a lot of money and still actually live in debt but you want to be out of that circle you want to be someone who is financially independent that you have no credit card bill but you are spending what you have and you still have savings for your retirement so three things that i want to share with you because the thing is sometimes people think because they don't make enough money they cannot save or because the work they are doing don't pay them that much so because of that they cannot become financial financially independent or financially stable but if i tell you that may be wrong in most cases you know it's not about the amount of the money you make but it's about are you able to manage the little that you have with you right now how are you managing what you have in your at your disposal the money that you are currently making ten dollar an hour twenty dollar an hour $30 an hour how are you managing what you have are you living way above your means or are you living within your means are you living your life to place people who necessarily may not care about you but you are trying to impress them and because of that you are seeing yourself living from a credit card to another credit card because now you find yourself at this standard that you want to keep up with i mean that may not be reality so many people you see them fancy looking fancy nancy but at the end they are in debt because they are living their lives in debt to sustain their lifestyle and as a result of that people will think they are rich but actually they are really miserably broke but if you don't want to be in that category of people i want you to listen to these three things i'm gonna share with you and if you can apply them to your life things will change that no matter little no matter small you're making things can definitely change drastically for you so the number one point is do not use credit card to pay for things do not charge on credit cards see credit card is a way of tying you down and every month the cycle repeats itself again because the more you use credit card they will send the bill and you and they call it a revolving account because you will never people never get out of it they spend they spend they pay little they spend more they pay little they spend more it's a cycle that will never get you anywhere but we get you stuck because you have to pay that bill every month $25 $30 and before you know it that can take you four or five years to get out of that debt so the first thing is don't charge things on credit card and that takes me to the second point is use cash only or use your debit card because when you use your debit card each time you enter your pin and you charge on a debit card right away that money is coming out of your checking account 
so number one don't charge things on credit card use your debit card use your cash so if you don't have money to buy that thing then take a look at it is it really necessary because that means you cannot afford it if you cannot pay cash for it if you cannot put it on your debit card that means you cannot afford that purchase and because of that think about it do you want to be committed paying for this particular thing that you have no money for for the next two three years maybe after you've used that thing you've tossed it out but you continue have to pay over that credit card for 10 five six seven years and they would charge you more i mean the least uh, the least APR on a credit card is about 18% and some goes up to as 27, 99%. So don't be tempted. Don't fall into that track of the society and spend credit card and then you are tied down. Because think about it. Each month when you send out a payment on your credit cards, $50 here, $25 there, $30 there. If you add them together, it might be $100, it might be $150. That you can use for something tangible. But actually, you are using it to pay for the things you ate yesterday, for the things you have done in the past. So think about this for a second, that each time you use your credit card to buy the things you don't have money for, you are spending your future right now. Because whatever you buy on credit, they're going to send you the bill and you're going to pay for it. So if you don't have it, you cannot afford it, don't buy it. You buy it, you are spending your future right now now and the third thing is and this is very important probably the next video i'm going to elaborate on these things the third thing is to pay yourself first pay yourself first and this i'm going to talk about this in my next video because actually i don't want to take more of your time listening to this pay yourself first because that is when you can have something in savings that is where you can have something in an investment or in a retirement account when you pay yourself first so watch out for my next video and i'm gonna be sharing how you can do that effortlessly and with that you can actually have money somewhere so that when you retire you have something to live on. Some people cannot retire at age of 65 because the thing is they cannot afford to do that because they have nothing saved, they have no retirement account, or they have something very minimum. And because of that, they cannot afford to leave their job at age 65, age 70 because they don't put things in plan ahead of time so watch out for my next video and i'm going to be sharing how you can actually start saving paying yourself first and investing into your future and before you know it you become rich but the two things i shared please take note of that spend cash only or debit card so that that money comes out of your account right away. Don't use credit card. If you use credit card, you are eating into your future. You are spending your future right now. What you don't have, you are spending it and you're gonna pay for it later. And you're gonna pay much more because of the interest and all of those things. So think about that. Carry cash with you or use your debit card. Don't fall into that trap that you keep revolving in debt, credit card debt all the time. You want to get out of it and be financially stable, be financially independent and on your way to building a wealth for yourself and for your family. So if this, if you enjoy me, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Again, my name is Victoria Show Me. And I will see you next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.